What did um, what did you make of the game? Firstly, I um, it's interesting because in the meet we we were we we're having a chat, and I said that I really enjoyed the nil nil, and they went it wasn't that good. And I was like, really? And then producer Joe again, who was really good actually today, well done, Joe. He said, well, you had a dog in the fight, so it's different for you. And I was like, okay. So what was it like for you watching? Because I really enjoyed well, the I, game. Be honest, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch any football yesterday. Well, why? What were you doing? Well, I did a presentation for kids. Obviously, I played at a football tournament when I was a kid, and I was there all day giving out trophies for these young kids oh. and that. I messaged you and said, "Oh, yeah, you did." Ten year olds come up to me. Oh, yeah, you should say that. I know that's amazing. Ten year olds going, "I love yours in the Goldstein show." People come up to me. Where's do, Goldstein? Do they not say Goldstein in your show? No, it's in my oh, right, show. Okay. And then they were like, "Where's Goldstein?" And then another guy, which really made me laugh, went, oh. "He wouldn't be somewhere like this." <laughs> what, because he knows I'm, I'm not allowed to, I'm no, not insured no. but when I did get home yeah which was like at 11 o'clock at night I got there at 2 yeah um, wow I watched all the highlights of all the games and from what I saw Brighton Manchester United yeah it was a, it was a, a goodish game I, I, I would have expected more from Brighton though if I'm honest the way that they're playing and the way that they move the ball Brighton don't Brighton didn't play that they have been playing and I, that I could only put that down to the occasion Whereas, which, which is why I think Brighton played better football than Manchester United, but because Manchester United have been there so many times, been in cup finals, their players now to handle that experience. So I always gave them the edge, Manchester United, going into that. But I thought Brighton, if they can control it under the Zerbi, mm. I thought potentially they could cause an because it would have not an upset, but I thought Brighton would have won that game. Uh, I thought David Head was fantastic. He put that straight, back, didn't you? Back, back on the top table. No, he's not. He's Ram, like... Ramsdale's certainly not on that table anymore. Oh, but hold on. Oh, 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 what happened oh, there? Following De Gea's lead. What happened oh, there? Yeah, De Gea's what lead. did you that... think when that happened after 30 seconds? Oh, well, I said, why? <laughs> I, said, I said to my mate who's sitting next to me, I said, why? <laughs> I was like that. I got so many tweets going, top table, top table. Anyway, I thought David Hale was great. I thought Wamba Saka was outstanding. Yeah. It was, it was it James, who said it was James, who said it? Um, James Madison. That's James one Madison. to one defender in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean that's that's, that's some. I think one to one defender trying to get past him. Every time I think someone's got the edge on him, he gets his foot back from somewhere and just hooks the ball he's back. He's amazing. That. But again, do you know who takes a lot of credit for that Ten Hag putting him in the right positions to defend? Because well, they, United were looking to sell him. Right? He was going back to Palace. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we've got to give Eric Ten Hag a lot, a lot of credit for that. Yeah. He's been there just over a year. So today is April the twenty fourth. April the twenty first was when he joined Manchester United mm. last season. So in a year, right, he's got them to the League Cup final and won it. Mm-hmm. He's got them now to Wembley twice, semi final and the final FA Cup final. And it looks like United should get top four, mm-hmm. right? Now, if if Man City win the Premier League, and I'm saying this because if Arsenal win it, mm. I think Arteta should be manager of the year. Yeah. If Man City win the Premier League and Manchester United win the FA Cup, I think Ten Hag is in with a shout to be manager of the year. From yeah. taking United where they were to Wembley three times, two trophies and Champions League football in one year is a, a far greater achievement yeah, than, than, Pep's, I, I, than I, Pep's Man City winning the Premier League Yeah, again. but I'd probably opt for Eddie Howe maybe over him. With Newcastle. Newcastle were battling relegation. Me two trophies. Listen to me. Newca- you, well, listen, you might just say one because you're not getting oh, to We've beaten Man City already this year. They've also smashed the yeah, life no, out of you. Well. well, three points is three points. We've beaten what them. What I will say is, is for Eddie Howe and Newcastle... Smashed the life out of you. He was, you were 6-1 down at All one right. stage. All right. And it finished. 6-3. Six, six, three. Three. Brilliant. All right. Well, we beat him 2-1 <laughs> at our place. Um, I, th- I look at Eddie Howe. Newcastle at the start of last season were battling relegation. Like, we're struggling. A lot of people said this season that it'd be an achievement for them to get top 10. I think they're nailed on for third. Third? Well, they're level with points. Or, or they're because of the win yesterday... They're above us now, but we've got... The job now. that Eddie Howe's done there has been phenomenal. It has, it has. I take nothing away. Um, just quickly as well, because there's so much I want to talk to you about. <laughs> if they, yeah, if Eric Ten Hag wins two trophies... You know, one, just, just say one. Um, what do you make of extra time? Do we I, need it still? I haven't got a problem with it. No, I haven't got a problem I don't with mind, it. I quite like it. Yeah. Because you know when a game's really interesting and it gets to the wire... You, you want another 30 minutes. I want another 30 minutes. Yeah. I do think... This is nuts. This will never happen. But I do think around about 28 minutes of extra time that both managers should be allowed to go... Actually, should we have penalties now? Because you don't want with two minutes to go. You're thinking we should. I don't want to lose it now. Because yeah, someone might. Someone I might know, but it. You, that's horrible, isn't it? It's a horrible thing. But I, I get why a lot of people are against extra time, mm. right? Because there's so many games and etc. Um, and uh, some people don't like it. Some people prefer golden like goal it. as well. Yeah, I but golden goals. Yeah. Golden goal is brutal. Yeah, it's that's brutal. Too much. No, I, I like extra time. I like the form. Again, we're trying to change it. I like the format the way it is. Yeah. Other than the other than the semi finals being at Wembley. I like the format. Okay. Extra time pens. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.